Hi guys, this is Karen. Welcome to another video and today's video is a bit special and very very exciting. Well, I thought to myself why not show you different eye looks with different colorful eyeshadows that are wearable that you can go to the office to errands I don't know to meet your friends something casual for me it's for the office so I just took you with me every morning when I got ready for work and created six looks for the office from very colorful eyeshadow palettes that I have all kinds of palettes that I have like Colourpop or Beauty Bay etc. You can see that you can create very beautiful looks for the everyday activities. For me as I said it's going to the office but for you it's going it can be anything else. Going to the mall, meeting your friends, going to errands, whatever it is that you're doing during the day and you want something colorful but not too bold, not too to the face. Something a bit more soft and I think wearable. So of course that what I think is wearable for you is not going to be wearable. But for my likings, for my aesthetics, these are colorful but wearable eye looks. So stay tuned and keep on watching. Let's start with look Number one. Today's look I'm using Just My Luck by Colourpop. It's a very colorful palette and we'll create an office look using this palette. I'm going to start with the lightest shade as transition shade and apply it all over the lid, uh, all over the crease. I'm just applying. I already applied my base. I use my LA Girl High Definition Eyeshadow Palette. So this is just the base. Now, taking a flat brush and taking the darkest brown in the palette, this color here, to the inner, to the outer corner. So. Let's just apply it at the outer corner, the basic, the basics are the same, transition shade, dark corner shade and a lighter shimmer. The point is to make it quick and wearable, so I'm just applying it. at the outer corner of each eye and I'm blend blending it through the middle of the lid just like that and I'm going to repeat the same on the other side so this is you know quick and easy look for the office with kind of Scary eyeshadow palettes. Okay, now we have three shimmers here. The middle row, I'm going to take the gold one, the middle one, which is this shade. It's a bit, uh, well, it's some greenish gold, and I'm just popping it with my finger and blending where it meets the brown so kind of in the middle of the lid and now I'm going to take just a blending brush and just blend it Oops. a tiny bit Don't have a lot of time, skip the blending. It's 
So I'm just blending the dark shade into the transition shade. Yep, that's it. Quick and easy. You can add a liner. So I'm just taking my Wet n Wild brown eyeliner and just adding it to the lower lash line. Just to give it definition, not a lot, a very light, soft line, not too harsh. That's it, all I have to do is add mascara and I'm ready. So let's add mascara, I'm using, I'm just going to add my Flormar mascara, this is called Triple Action Mascara. Well, I haven't used it for a very long time. It has three options here. At the top you can twist the wand. So you have different kinds of wands. Let's try this one. I'm just taking my small mirror and applying the mascara. Just to you know, to give my lashes some definition, some color, nothing over the top. I'm not going to do layers. This mascara is so dry. I think I used it once. Okay, that's a bummer. Okay, this is it. This is a simple look to the office. It's not too bold, in my opinion at least. It's colorful. Next up, this guy by Kaleidos. This is the Futuristic 3 Astro Pink palette. And this is how it looks like. Very, very beautiful color palette. I really, really love it. So colorful and beautiful. And yes, you can create a look for the office with this palette. And we're going to do that right now. I'm going to take my brush and start with this very light brown here. And I'm going to edit, edit, apply it above my crease. So there is a small mirror here which is very very useful. Small, but useful. You can see just the eyes and it's definitely enough. So I'm just applying it above the crease. The transition shade, so cold. Now I'm taking a flat brush and I'm dipping into this beautiful purple shade, I guess it's purple or burgundy and I'm just adding it to the outer corner just tapping it like so the outer corner of each eye that on the other eye I'm just adding a tiny bit more yep and now I'm taking with my finger the sh shimmery color here so I use one two three 
look at that. This is just gorgeous. And I'm just tapping it. And on top of the connection between the two shades. And on the other side. Basically the look is almost ready. I just need my blending brush. And I think I'm missing a bit of the dark pink here. Just like that. And I'm taking, as I said, my blending brush. If I can find it, it's hiding. So I'm just going to blend. Do you think it's a look that you can go to the office with? I think so. I am going to the office right now. Okay. Now I'm going to take an angle brush and from the darker brown here, the darker brown, I'm just adding to the lower lash line. Not a lot. I don't like to add too much because otherwise it will smear by the end of the day. Okay, look what happened here. It smeared. <laughs> so I'm just adding this to the lower lash line. Not a lot, just for definition. I just add mascara and I'll be ready. So I'm just taking my Flomar. This is the triple action mascara. Tried it yes, tried it yesterday's look. I don't know, didn't really like it, but let's give it another shot. It's too dry. Definitely too dry. There's okay. Maybe I'll take my small mirror. Mm, you know this mascara. You can twist, and the wand changes. So I just twisted it, and let's see if it helps. It's better. Yeah. But still, very, very dry. A very dry formula. But it will not smear, so this is the final look. I'm going to the office like this. I think it's beautiful. It's not too bold. It's colorful. And I think it's a very pretty look. So. Yep. Well, today I'm using the Hummingbird by Uden's Eye. Look at that beautiful color palette. This is just gorgeous. And scary and terrifying at the same time. Let's try and create a look for the office that won't look that scary. 
So we don't have anything as transition shade. So I'm going to use a tiny bit of this dark brown at the top here. It's a dark brown. Let's try and take a tiny bit and hope it's not that pigmented. It is. Okay, but I did take a very small amount, so we can make it work as transition shade. Tiny bit, I'm just tipping like this and taking off the axis. And I'm just adding it above my crease, like so. Tiny bit on the other side as well. Okay, we have taken an intimidating brown, dark brown. A little bit of brown in the camera, it looks black, but. I assure you it's a brown and let's continue now I'm taking this very dark br blue here it looks black but it's a brown so I'm taking this blue here on a flat brush just adding it to the outer corner like that you know I'm wearing a blue shirt so I thought let's go blue with a new palette I haven't used this palette before first time trying it But I really wanted to play with you and try and take a very powerful palette and make it wearable. You know, I watch a lot of YouTube about makeup and a lot of times if someone is making a colorful look, it's not wearable. I can't wear it to the office can't do anything with it so I thought let's do something wearable now I want to take this color shifter here this color here no it's not that one it's that one oh but it's okay purple hmm. it looks different <laughs> when I look at it it looks a bit white I knew it's a color shifter but I didn't realize it's shifting to purple so good thing I looked so I'm going to take this color here well, my camera zoomed out on me I don't know what happened so I'm just going to take this very very vibrant blue and tap it very gently on the inner part of the lid wow okay that's too much yeah so let's just tap it connect it to the blue okay i got transfer to the lower lash line okay it's much more pigmented than I thought it's very very pigmented but let's take a blending brush and try and make it a bit more soft so it won't look that bold So 
So I'm just going over it with the blending brush. It's much better. So I'm just blending it just to make it less bold. You know, for making a look to go outside, you know, just with friends or something like that, or going out, you know, it's good bold. But just for every day, I don't like wearing something this bold. It's too much. Okay, so hummingbird, let's do something for the lower lash line. And I'm just taking an angled brush. And I'm looking at the clock and I need to hustle. So I'm just taking from the dark brown that I used in the crease to define the lower lash line. Just like that. is pigmented so I'm so glad I took the tiny bit before because it is very very pigmented and you can see it's a brown and not a black but it's a very very strong brown okay that's it this is the hummingbird very beautiful colorful palette and I think it turned out very very nice not so strong as I thought it's going to be but I think I lost some of the dark brown in the inner core in the outer corner so I'm just going to add a tiny bit because I still want it to be a bit darker here it is a blue shimmer, so it's not going to give me the same impact as if it was a blue matte. But it still gives me depth. Much better. Okay, hummingbird. I'm going to add mascara to the look because we have to. And I'm taking my Golden Rose False Lashes. And I'm taking a tiny mirror and I'm just adding it really, really quickly. I really want to go and I had to make a mess with the mascara. Of course I did. That's a bummer. What happened? Oh, not that bad as I thought initially. Well, this is it. This is the final look. I thought it turned out beautifully, not too strong, very suitable to the office, matches my shirt. This is my shirt, kind of matches it. Oh, I got a stain. I hope it is not from makeup. It's not vibrant blue as my shirt, but I really don't want to use vibrant blue on my eye when I'm going to work. Okay, this is it. What do you think? Tiny Marvels by Mel Thompson and Cindy Grace. This is what the palette looks like. This is so pretty. Okay, starting with transition shade and I'm choosing this shade here. It's called Walking Stick. 
and I have on my eyes the MAC Paint Pod in Soft Ochre on my lid, sorry. This morning, just woke up about 20 minutes ago, so still a bit out there. <laughs> Not fully awake, I didn't have coffee, I'll have my first coffee at work. So my voice sounds strange and I feel strange but committed to this series of videos so we keep going and now I'm taking the dark brown coal spider this brown here and adding it to the outer corner Like that, very pigmented, and very blendable. So I'm just adding it, as I said, to the outer corner. I love the quality of Cindy Grace eyeshadows. Very easy to work with and a lot of fun with the colors and I'm going to take fire butts gold color here beautiful gold And with my finger, I'm blending the seam between the black, a uh, dark brown and gold, just like that. This is gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Okay, I'm taking my blending brush. And let's blend it a bit. Now if I time I would blend more. But I unfortunately I need to go. I'm late. Something for the under eye. I don't know if I want to do something for the under eye, but I will do something very very light i'm taking the dark brown just like that to each outer end the lower lash line so about half The dark brown and half from the gold fire butts. Oh, it doesn't want to. Yeah, no. Should have taken more, I guess. This is a beautiful color scheme for an everyday look. And now I'm taking the white called Web. This shade here with my pinky. And the outer corner of each eye which each pinky just like that beautiful shade very very white well that's it oh that's it mascara 
mascara. Let's pop in some mascara. I'm using my golden rose false lashes just to the just to the upper lashes. As I said, it's morning. I didn't have my coffee, so bear with me. Okay, I really have to go. This is it. This is the final look. I think it turned out beautifully so tiny morals wilderness palette by beauty bay is next this is how it looks like beautiful shades very very colorful and I'm going to create a look using these army greens here so let's start with the middle so this is going to be in the crease outer corner inner corner so just to make it easier so you know you have everything close to each other which is very very comfortable so I'm just oh you have a big mirror here almost forget and it looks the transition shade I chose doesn't look that dark in the pan but it is so I need to take a clean brush and buff it a bit so it won't be so old it's going to be a wearable look To the office so I do want something that is not very very bold so I'm just trying to shear it out like that when my eyes are open you can't even see that <laughs> it's so frustrating you work, you work, you work, you work, you work, and then <clears throat> nobody's seeing anything. <laughs> okay, I'm taking a flat brush, I'm just cleaning mine. Forgot to clean my brushes. And let's take the darker one now. I assume it's going to be very pigmented and it has fallout, so it's not very there isn't a very big difference between the two shades even though in the pan they are they look so different different but it's on the eyes it's it's, uh, <laughs> it's morning I'm just just woke up sorry about that there isn't a lot of difference so I am filming these looks when I'm getting ready for work so it will be as real as possible so you can see that they're very very similar okay again I'm taking my buffing brush and I'm buffing it so it will be that's bold. Okay, and now the shimmer lime. <gasps> okay, look at that. <laughs> okay, let's do that. This is so I love 
beauty bay eyeshadow palette well at least the one I tried I have four and I love all of them well, the least my least favorite is the age of opulence because it's too dark but other than that I love the palette but you can find colors even in age of opulence to create something that you can wear to the office or to your everyday life you don't have to go to the office to wear an everyday life everyday life oh my god you can see that i haven't woke up yet right well you can hear that at least let's do under eyes and i'm taking the darkest one and a flat brush lining oh I have transfer of the shimmer bummer let's try and clean it let's take a smaller mirror to do the under eyes yeah it's very much better <laughs> than me trying to see something when I'm looking at the larger mirror Just adding the darkest shade all over the lower lash line. Just like that. Okay. I love these olive green colors these army colors okay let's do lashes so as usual I'm using my golden lash false lashes golden rose <laughs> false <laughs> lashes <laughs> I'm going to hate myself when I'm going to edit this video so ah, bummer I'm just adding a coat of mascara so my lashes will be visible to the world just a coat of mascara that's it I don't have time for anything else I'm ready to get out of the door this is it this is the final look I think that it's very very wearable because I'm not afraid of color and you know, basically if you look at me you don't see a lot I'm just when I'm closing my eyes or something like that <laughs> okay so I'm ready and I'm going to work Lash Life by Colourpop is today this beautiful palette very very colorful and intimidating okay so I'm going to start with this one in the crease I'm going to touch it very very lightly Ooh, had a lot of fallout kickback sorry just taking off the axis there's no mirror here and I'm just adding a tiny bit to the crease or above the crease just like that ever so lightly oh this one is a bit more pigmented So we need to add to the other side as well. Now 
I'm taking my buffing brush again because it's too strong and I want it to be a bit more soft so I'm just buffing it And from the same shade, I'm using the same shade, but I'm just taking it on a flat brush. So I'm dipping in the same shade and adding it to the outer corner of the eye. It's a dense brush, so it packs on a lot of material. And on the other side as well. Trying to do it as quickly as possible. Just like that. And now I'm taking with my finger this color here. It's gold. It has a green shift to it. And I'm packing it on the lid. I have a visitor here today. My daughter just woke up and joined me. This is a lot of fun. So I packed it on with my finger on both sides. And I want to add something light to the inner corner. So I'm taking this lighter gold pearl color. With my pinky on each side. Hmm. Doesn't really add a lot, as I remembered. Now again, let's take the blending brush and try and make it as cohesive as possible. Okay, now for the lower lash line, I want to use a pencil, another color pop pencil green pencil to the lower lash line and uh, waterline just like that it's quicker than doing it with a powder so now all we have to do now is add mascara and I'm usually or as usual using my golden rose false lashes mascara let's take the small mirror here add a coat of mascara yeah and have it all over the laurel what happened it's smeared all over what a bummer well, that's it. Just let's clean here. Yep. That's it. Done. The look kind of matches my shirt, which is a green shirt. This is the final look. zoomed 
This is the final look. This is it. These were six looks for the office. Wearable, colorful looks. I hope that it gave you some kind of inspiration. Maybe it helped you to adopt one look or two and maybe try and add some color to your everyday looks. So I really hope I gave you inspiration and helped you a bit with your decisions to what kind of makeup what kind of eye look I want to go for today. So I used every day a different palette, every day a different colorful palette. So I really hope it gave you some inspiration. That was the idea of the video. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget subscribe before you leave. Join my family here on YouTube and you will see more content from me. Let me know in the comment section down below if there is a look that you liked better than the others is there a look that you're going to adopt to your routine let me know it's very very interesting for me so with that said i will catch you all in my next video bye